Hi, my name is Lisa LaFlam, and going into this project, I didn't really know what to expect since I've never been in a wheelchair before. But at first, it wasn't too bad. I had to figure out how to push, turn, and all that stuff. Um, the first place I went to was the sack, and the front door did not have the push button to get into the front. So it's also at a incline so going into this was a little difficult especially since it was my first time Once I got into the sack, it wasn't that difficult because I just had to go straight. But I did try and go to the restroom, and you have to turn 90 degrees, and then as soon as you turn, you have to turn again, and then one more time. And the door opens towards you, so you have to back up, pull the door, and then try and go in. Um, but there was enough room in the bathroom, like it was really spacey, until I got into the stall. So the stall did have enough room to turn around. It was a good size, but the door opened out, so like I had to go in, turn around, and then I did hit the garbage can. Um, I tried to pull the door closed, and it didn't close all the way, so it bounced back open, so I tried to grab it. So if I were to be unable to move my torso and like waist up, there would be no way. I would need help. Um, in the sack, the chairs are all movable. So I didn't really have a difficult time sitting at any tables or anything like that, except for outside of the front. So outside of the front, there's a blue picnic table, but there's seats all around it. So I couldn't pull my wheelchair up to eat anything or anything like that. So I found that very difficult. Um, I found that people were very nice to me. They did stare at me and they were, did wonder what was wrong and stuff like that, but... When it came to opening doors, they all offered to help me. Um, when I crossed the street, they all let me go first. They just waited for me to wheel across the street and get to the sidewalk before going. Finally, I left the sack and I went to go play wheelchair basketball. So while I was playing wheelchair basketball, in order to get to the court, I had to go through grass, which is not very good because it's very difficult and at this point my shoulders were already on fire burning because I'm not used to pushing the wheelchair all the time um, but once I did get through the grass it was easy the dribbling part of basketball is very difficult I don't really understand how I'm supposed to do that so I just carried it and then shot um, shooting is a lot harder than it is when you're standing I don't know if I just have to practice more, but it was very difficult. I found a door that I could enter um, in the arena, actually. I had to go return the wheelchair, and the push button to get in was very helpful. Because in the sack, um, I had to pull the door open and then kind of use the other door to pull myself into the building. Which was kind of hard and I struggled a lot with that, just going through doors. So the push button is definitely very helpful when it comes to entering and exiting the building. Overall, I felt like I had a pretty decent experience in the wheelchair. Um, I could actually go faster than I was walking. I don't know if I just walked really slow, but in the beginning before I st I got in the wheelchair, people told me that I would be going a lot slower, but I was actually moving. So that's good, but it was weird going from being six feet tall to looking up at everyone. And then also when people would ask to help me, I didn't really want people's help. 
So I know it would make it a lot easier, but I just felt like I could do everything myself or I would want to try to do everything myself. One of my friends was in an accident and is now in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. And I have a new respect for anyone that is in wheelchairs because rolling around all day um, is very difficult and if buildings are not accessible for wheelchairs it's like really difficult to get in and just like move around a building without help so overall my experience made me more respectful towards those in wheelchairs and I'm probably not going to offer help but I will definitely be there for someone if they need help rolling around in a wheelchair, stuff like that, getting through doors, 